but he condones snitching. Not you calling you a snitch, but maybe somebody in your mm. conglomerate or circle mm. may have told and you still hang mm. around them. Family streets gonna talk, like you feel me? You want the truth, like you feel me? Just, just pop out, like I'm, I'm outside. All my niggas is outside, like we green, like you feel me? Like, they just want the truth, like. That's some shit y'all gonna have to dig up on your own. Like, you feel me? Like, that shit out there for real. You just gotta come to the city. Like, but. TV back in this thing with some more topics on the floor, man. And if you want to be a part of Doughboy TV gang, all you got to do is put it down in the comments, man. Y'all make sure y'all go follow me on my social media, Instagram, Facebook. We got the. Doughboy TV gang, what's going on, man? We back in here for another banger, man. And we got to talk about none other than the boy, man. Yes, we got to talk about the boy out of that SOB. Used to be SOB, RBE clan, but now it's just SOB. And then you got them people over there with RBE, OBM, things like that. And it's a lot of other, you know, sub clicks that they rock with. But today we got to talk about the boy specifically, man. Because it's been rumors after rumors going around with this man when it comes to his brother, uh, D Butter. Now, uh, D Butter is a rat, man. We're going to keep it here. We can't even say alleged because the paperwork that came out, this old man, like, to be honest, this is the whole reason why SOB and RBE is not getting along. This is why them fights and things like that was happening on stage. You know, free little G out of that cage but you know it was a lot of turmoil in between a little group and they were one of the hottest and when i'm talking about the hottest i mean one of the hottest groups like you got to understand these people were featured on black panther and um had songs that went platinum like and they they not even over their 20 you know not and i'm talking about this was most likely going on when they wasn't even in their 20 year old or in they dubs you get what i'm saying now the boy he is a wonderful rapper, especially when it comes to lyrics and things of that nature. When it comes to his group as an SOB and RBE, when they was a group, he was the most lyric go person in the group, in my opinion. But, you know, everybody might have their own opinion. I feel like the boy still is the most lyrical, even though they all went their little separate ways. People stayed with each other. Some people didn't. That's just how life go. But we got to talk about the whole situation of the snitch rumor about his brother. What I, what I say I am, that's what I am, nigga. If I say I don't hang around no snitches, I don't hang around no snitches, nigga. I don't condone none of that shit. Like, Cuddy, we living in reality. Like, I'm not finna explain myself to no internet, nigga. I don't hang around no snitches. Like, what, nigga? What D-Boy say he is, nigga, that's what D-Boy is, nigga. To run with whoever they hear from yeah, first Yeah, like sometimes. the internet. Like, that's the internet. Like, you can't defeat <laughs> the internet. What you're saying, you know, it, it's true, or, or so you say, um, because that can kind of put a, a stain on your reputation because sometimes people don't even care about the truth. They they hear what they hear and they run with it. You got to remember like Because we can't even call it a rumor. The real rumor is if he still hang around this man because everybody know the video I did a couple months back where the paperwork was, you know, brought out and you know how we rocking over here, man. If you, if you a rap, we gonna let it be known, man. And it's crazy because, you know, people love to say they old minded and live these old rules and this and that. And one of the rules, man, and this is a universal is like, man, you can't hang around a snitch, can't be around that rat because at the end of the day, if you rocking with somebody, Birds of a feather flock together straight up, man. So I'm going to feel like this. If he telling you telling straight up because y'all guilty or you just guilty by association straight up. It's like, man, if you hanging out with a certain group of people and let's say one of your boys go do something to another group of individuals. It's not like when they come and try to retaliate, they're going to be like, well, hey, let's just let's just get this one. No, nah, man, I'm going to assume that all of y'all's with him. So all of y'all are what? The ops. Now, you got to understand RBE. And SOB could have been so much bigger than what they are. Like, I feel like they actually lost a lot of steam, you know, having to beef with each other over the rumors of, you know, how can I put this? The rumors of this man brother being a rat. And it's crazy because you got one side, you know, exposing the other side. And, you know, it's crazy 
Because one situation that's going on right now, because they, they situation kind of a little old, but EBK, the rap group out of Stockton, is going through some of the same problems with they rappers. They done broke up because one side is like, man, he a rat. The other side, like, well, that's family or whatever. However, they working it out. You get what I'm saying? But it's just tarnishing the music because I'm not going to say it's tarnishing the music. I, I mean, I do appreciate that they can, you know, do their own solo ventures and go out and make their own, you know, basically show their capabilities and what they really got to offer themselves without the group. Because at the end of the day, after that group get a little um, sour, which I feel like it always is, especially when you got large amounts of money, you feel me, young dude, a lot of females, things like that. People not going to always see eye to eye. You got all these drugs and you get what I'm saying? all playing a part of the thing and it's like this man finally has been going on to say cheeses and you know the uh, uh vlad tvs and talking about the situation of somebody being a rat around him and him basically getting bashed because you know he done lost a lot of fans for this simple reason because it's people that live by codes and morals and standards that just ain't gonna respect what you do so if they live by this certain way they're gonna stay that certain way it's not gonna change if you do it's just crazy how people say they stand on certain principles and you know it's like you contradict yourself because if this come out to be right you, you how can people really respect you as this gangster rapper when you walking around with a snitch when you in a rolls royce with a snitch when you were cruising and putting money in this snitch pocket like if something don't go wrong, he might not put you, you might not be his next victim. And it kind of made me really double down on this. And this is the whole reason I wanted to bring y'all this video is because at the end of the day, when he went on Say Cheese, he kind of made himself look a, more, a little more suspect for hanging around a snitch. And he kind of was beating around the bush to make it seem like, well, hey, man, you know, the paperwork out there, y'all can do your own investigation, kind of basically admitting that. His brother is a rat and he's still a hang around him, man. And that's crazy to me because y'all hear y'all hearing what I'm saying. He he basically went on one of the biggest platforms out there and admitted that his people really did rat. You know what I'm saying? Like, or am I tripping? Let me let y'all hear first. I ain't gonna lie, like the paperwork, like paperwork came out. I don't remember when the paperwork came out. I think it came out like when, when it came out, like 2K19. Like yeah, probably I think like late the 19. Of 2K19. Yeah. Like we used to hear about the little snitch rumors about you feel me, whatever. Yeah, like we asked, we asked niggas about it, niggas like, nah, none of that. Like you feel me? So when the paperwork came out, that's when okay, like you feel me? That's when you that when the paperwork came out come out, and if you were around a nigga, that's that's when you that's when you were around rats. Right? Are you feeling me? And the biggest thing I kind of want to point out for this whole situation is like this paperwork came out in 2K19, 2019. Mind you, they were, if not at like one of the hottest boiling points in their career, they was on the way. And it's crazy to me that they was getting this big bag and everything like that, meaning that lawyer fees would have been paid if you wanted me to just beat around the bush. But it's like after hearing that, I can't register anything else but him basically admit that he was a, his brother is a snitch and that's where it comes back to guilty of association man it's crazy excuse me guilty of association when you guilty by association not of association but in this case it's like bruh it's it's a couple things i can say you feel me y'all y'all share the same blood i can't you get what i'm saying that's your brother and i feel it but it's like if we if we all got this same goal and we all you feel me rocking with each other for this same purpose goal you know to get out of this hood to you feel me get out the environment that we grew up in because of the the, the struggle and things of that nature y'all know what y'all went through y'all want to paint these pictures in the songs that y'all these you know street dudes and uh street legends y'all gotta y'all gotta keep the same energy when y'all get locked up put them cuffs on y'all y'all can't be out here basically condoning a snitch because that's what's going on it's the same situation with like you feel me not everybody gonna respect it you gonna have some people who just like you for your music but at the end of the day when you come in in the street aura you just seen what happened to snitch nine he can't rap that i mean he can try to rap it but who gonna really want to listen to somebody rapping this gangster stuff that we know is not true man you talking about oh yeah i can't rock around with a snitch whoop-de-whoop -whoop, but we see you walking with one 
You get what I'm saying? His paperwork is out. You didn't admitted it saying you seen it and you cool with it. So how can I believe anything in your music is authentic? How can I even believe the persona? Because that's what I'm going to call it now that you live is authentic. Because at the end of the day, if you hanging around these these snitches, you don't live by the codes and laws of the street dudes or the hood dudes that I know. And, and, and these not just codes that is just made in your hood and my hood and they hood. These are universal. I thought uh, be, I thought being a snitch was universal. I thought all the hood street dudes was supposed to be like, yeah, we ain't rocking with bruh. Because back in the day, they used to get took out. But I mean, it's different times, different strokes for different folks. But I could never see myself rocking with a dude that told on somebody else. And, and and still got some jail time. Like you, you told on somebody else, got your jail time, and like I don't see what you gained out of that. I can't respect it, and I, I'm I'm keeping a hundred. You a itch, so how can I really respect you? And then I'm gonna feel like this, and this is my opinion. If, if any of my homies snitch, I can't mess with you no more. And I really might want to do something to you, but you get what I'm saying. But at the end of the day, I know I won't ever associate with you again, brother, sister, mother. But not everybody built like that. Not everybody came from the same struggle. But when you rapping this, this pain music, this struggle music, you feel me? This street, these street anthems straight up, because at the end of the day, the people in the streets is the one we supporting you. The people in the trenches and the hoods, they supporting you. But they really going through this stuff that you rapping about and fabricating. You get what I'm saying? That's why I kind of take it a little bit as disrespect. But y'all got to let me know if y'all even feel the same way, because. The way he worded it, I really feel like he just admitted that his brother D butter snitch. Y'all let me know how y'all feel down in the comments. It's your boy Doughboy TV. Y'all make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe and stay tuned. I will be dropping the breakdown to the S O B and R B E split beef or whatever you want to call it, man. It's coming very soon, man.